Okay, I'm just going to really quick show you how to move your two clipping mask images onto a single 8.5 by 11 canvas so that you can get those on the server to me so I can get those printed um, for block day. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is go ahead and open Photoshop and from here I'm going to just create a new blank document. You can choose the US paper preset which is 8.5 by 11 or you can enter in 8.5 by 11 at 300 pixels per inch manually. Either way works just fine. Um, but when I say OK it's going to go ahead and it's going to open that canvas for me. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open one of my clipping mask images into Photoshop and you may have yours opened already. Open this one up and what I need to do before I move it if I haven't saved it as a JPEG to submit it to Edmodo then I want to make sure that I flatten my image so that when I go to move this it's going to move it all together so from here I can go ahead and I can pull my tab apart I can click and drag my image over onto my canvas and I'm going to go ahead and use the transform command so command T and I'm going to start by flipping this horizontally, which is going to make it mirror the original image because of the transfer process. We need it to be backwards so that when we transfer it, it's facing the correct direction. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to rotate it 90 degrees clockwise so that I can fit this up here on my canvas and I can double click it to place. So I have a second image here that I've opened and I'm going to do the same thing to it. I'm going to go ahead and move it over here. Again, same way. I'm just going to pull that tab apart, move this over and notice how it came in incorrectly. That's because I didn't resize this image or I wasn't working with a five by seven to start. So if that's the case, you need to make sure that you go back. Oops. Let's see here. I'm going to put this back so I can work with it easily and I need to make sure that I crop it correctly to a 5 by 7 at 300 pixels per inch and then move it using my move tool and then I need to do the same thing I'm going to use my transform command I'm going to right click and choose to flip it horizontal so it mirrors the original and then I'm just going to rotate it 90 degrees. So now I've got two images on here and I'm going to just go ahead and save this as sellers one. Um, you can go ahead and save it as a JPEG for me out to your desktop. Um, and then you're going to create a second page just like this, but with your other two clipping masks. And both of those need to get put on the server in the transfers folder so that I can get those printed for you. So happy clipping masking, and I'll see you guys on block day.